Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. My name is Teresa Ellen Arianis, T-E-A, and this is Tea Time Adventures on YouTube. What time is it? It is Tea Time's Timu Time on Tuesday. Have you noticed? We're getting plain white bags. They don't even have Timu stamped all over them. Um, and at least mine have been shipping out of Rancho Cucamonga, California. Now that's down south of me by two, three hours, something like that. I don't think it's quite San Diego County, but it's definitely below Orange County. So we're talking at least 200 miles south of me. So that's interesting that it's coming into there from China, the United States, uh, into the southern part of Southern California, and then into me here, which I'm either considered the tippy top of Southern California or the bottom end of the Central Coast. So <laughs> I've kind of written scribbly notes <laughs> on the back of it to what this haul entails. And I'll go ahead and give you the statistics. This was ordered on January 11th and arrived on January 18th. So this is the second haul of the year for me. The retail value was $250.78 with an immediate discount of $191.04. Then we had a $2 coupon uh, and credit of $3.63. That came to a subtotal of $59.42. Now in the next 30 days, I continued to check price adjustment, price adjustment, price adjustment, and came up with another $11.74 in price adjustments. So the finale for 44 items, the final cost for 44 items was $47.68. Now, amongst the things that I do have in this haul, again, I'll give you some statistics, I have four necklaces, and they ranged anywhere from $1.98 to $2.60. I have 13 rings from $0.84 cents to $2.39. I have seven sticker packs from $0.49 cents to $0.98. Cents. You cannot beat their sticker prices anywhere. And if you can find a roll of 500 stickers for under a dollar, definitely. That is premium premium stuff. I also have 12 sets of earrings from $69 to $2.98. So that gives you just a brief rundown statistic-wise. Now let's go ahead and get into the unboxing. I'm going to apologize in advance because my ring light is still kind of new and I'm still learning what is the best lighting. There's three different tonal shades from like a warm orange yellow to a warm white to a white blue and they have at least three gradients within that now if i do this my background gets super dim and then it comes back up again <laughs> if i take pictures it looks like the back half over here has gone super dim so i may have to play around with my thumbnails to brighten them up just a little bit but i'm going to go ahead and get into all of the unboxing now i'll go ahead and handle some of the bigger stuff first and you've all seen these before, but they are some of my favorite items to buy, and the prices have ranged. So in my last haul, I picked up a 24 grid little container, and it was $1.18. This time I picked up two at $1.18. Now I can tell you that in my next haul, which I haven't filmed yet and just snipped open because my guy wanted into it because he's got stuff in there. I have four more of these at 51 cents each. So I've had the range of prices on these things, but I love them because they are so much easier for me to look at my rings, look at small sets of earrings and just go shuffle, 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 shuffle rather than trying to pick them out of, uh, you know, any other type of holder. So to me, these are it tells me a story very quickly of trying to pick what else uh, to go with my outfit for the day at work. So there's those. Now, this one, this next item, was either a twofer, you have to buy two in order to get the price. It's mandatory, you can't take one off. They say you have to buy two, or it was a Teresa mistake. Now, in this particular case, I do think that it was an actual Teresa mistake, but I could be wrong. Um, could be a twofer. And their little brush sets 
with your little dustpan and your little brush. Um, not sure what the knob is all about in the center, but or oh, it looks like a lady with her hands over her head, maybe, and she's cleaning up. So this is supposed to be something that you could use either for on your desk or just little things on the couch or just little whoopsies on the countertop that you don't have to get out the vacuum for. So there is that. Um, it doesn't really clip into place. Per se, I guess a little bit. I guess it does kind of look like a lady with short hair and her hands up in the air, I guess. Anyway, I have two of those. So one of them will go in a giveaway. <laughs> or to somebody, you know, friends, friends, etc. etc. So I got two of these and they were um, 89 cents each. So this may have been one of those twofers, you have to buy two. <laughs> Gotta be a better way to say it. Now the next thing actually is for Dara. And it was $3.98, so it might be one of the most expensive things in this haul. It is purple and blue. It's got a little toy that she can bat around. And it also has holes in the top and the bottom where I could put um, treats and as she rolls them around and plays with it the treats drop out so I thought that might be nice to see if she'd actually go for it if not we are hoping that at some point in time that we will be able to bring my guy's cat uh, down uh, from where he used to live um, it was not feasible at the time and I have food for her drop shipped to his best friend's house and they still go feed her at the house he was living at the the landlords are fine with that they're just not going to take care of her um, it's not up for rent it's not up for renovation it's just sitting on a lot so she's she's still well protected she has access to food and water and uh, coverings for when it's raining or cold um, so she'll she'll be okay but the the goal is to get her down here it's trying to find somebody to do the transportation of it so she might like it too let's see alrighty <laughs> now we get into the small stuff I'm gonna go ahead and start with the stickers because I did say I had about seven sticker packs and they range anywhere from 49 cents to 98 cents so we'll start off with the smallest one and what I've been doing with the sticker packs I've been taking the photos from Timu and cropping them and I'll put them at the end of this video so the first thing I got was called bottles of the world and they're smaller stickers so uh, they would naturally be um, less expensive one would hope so we have a little bottle with flowers we have another little bottle with a doggy in it um, I don't know these just crack me up they're so sweet we've got a mountain and moonscape so we've got a seascape so just I love stickers I really do and I actually do have something that I picked up on an Amazon haul but I'm not sure if I ever showed you but I do have a sticker saver book so the ones that are my favorites I will save in a book I know how old am I when did I do this when I was 13 years old and here I am hurtling towards 60 and I'm doing it again so <laughs> hurtling towards 60. Um, 49 cents, 50 pieces. It's called Bottle World. Uh, the next sticker pack I picked up, and most of these are like 90, 98 cents. There's at least three of them that are 98 cents. Um, the next one is, came in a tiny little <laughs> box, and it is called um, Lane Corner Flower Houses. And they were 78 cents. So I can get into them here. It's usually easier to open it up on the bottom. Let's see if I can get into this. They're small stickers. And again, they are just little shops. Now these are not like candy oriented, like my last bunch of stickers that were little houses. This is a little bit more uh, charming, realistic esque. Um, so very pretty little shops um, oops and down on the floor I just pulled a Charmaine okay anyway so I'll pick that up later <laughs> but there are 50 of these and they were at oh, yeah, there it is 
78 cents. So I'll go ahead and put that back in there. If anybody wants the item numbers or SKUs as I call them um, for these, any of these stickers, rings, whatever it is that I show off, please let me know in the comments down below. I will be glad to give you the what's called an SKU number or their item number um, or a link to the product. So the next inexpensive one is a little bit darker and it is discontinued already and it was just called Cute Creatures. Now they are more dark oriented stickers. They are crazy little, oh, they're in a, <laughs> they're in a bag within a bag. So I'll just give you an idea what the first one looks like. They're little dark monsters, like school pictures for little monsters. <laughs> so that was 93 cents. Um, and they're just called cute, cute creatures, but they are already discontinued. Um, I, when I went to go take um, a photo to put on the end of this video, um, it was already gone from uh, their stock. So that one I can't quite share with you. The next was 88 cents and it's called Colorful Flowers. And I know, I must have literally hundreds. I need two is in a bag within a bag. All right, so I'm not gonna open the bag within a bag. Just give you an idea. There's 50 of these. They all have pretty flowers on them. Um, that's something new, usually the Stickers usually within a bag within a bag, or is that just something new? Anyway, okay, so that was 88 cents. And the next three are 98 cents. They're called, uh, the first one is called Pharmacy Bottles. If I can, sometimes it's hard for me to see. And then they put stickers across the opening. So this one's called Pharmacy Bottles. I'll just show you a few. So we've got Pretty little bottles and duo bottles, bottles with flowers. I have no idea what the, what's in that bottle. <laughs> Maybe it's magic. Um, under the sea sort of bottles. You get the, the general idea. So just little scenic things inside bottles. Um, I know, it may sound silly. I'm, I'm almost 60 years old and here I am collecting stickers, but honestly they're fun. And actually, one of the things that I think I found most interesting in getting some friend mail from other people that like stickers is Miss Southern Belle last year sent me some friend mail and she knocked it out of the park with some really wonderful things. It, it showed that she really cares. She pays attention to her friends and subscribers. She got me Star Trek stuff. She got me Disney stuff. And instead of peppering the outside of the box, which can alert porch uh, stealers, porch thieves, that you've got something interesting in your box. She put the stickers on the inside. So when you open it up, you're still greeted with stickers because you know, we all know we're probably going to recycle those boxes anyway, right? Especially U.S. Postal Service boxes, the, the flat rate ones. But it was nice that she decorated the inside of the box so it didn't get give the porch pirates uh, a, a clue what was in there. So... Anyway, these are Pharmacy Bottles 98 cents. I'll have Miss Southern Belle linked down below since I am um, <clears throat> mentioning her. And she is a lovely Southern lady, I believe. Uh, she is down in the South and she does a lot of hauls. She does a lot of live coloring with her coloring crew. She does uh, takes us on adventures while she's shopping and shows us hauls afterwards. She picks up um, a lot of coloring books from Amazon, so there's Amazon hauls as well. She also does some donation items that she will pick backpacks um, and either put stuff in the backpacks for school children that are perhaps underprivileged, and she has a place that she sends them off to, too, so she's got a very generous heart as well. Anyway, <laughs> this Southern Belt will be linked below. This next one is called Micro World, and so again, you've got landscapes and little animals and almost like drinks. They look like little tropical drinks because they are in like bottles and little uh, glasses. Like they're, they're little tropical worlds all in a beverage. <laughs> so I thought those were kind of clever um, as well. We've got one more of these and I am kind of keeping track of the time. I think I already showed you this one. So this 
that might be the same sticker on one, even though it's called something different. It's just called Beautiful, but we've seen that singular sticker before earlier. I don't know if all the rest of them are, but hey, if it's a duplicate, that's fine. So those are the seven packs of stickers that I bought um, in this haul. And again, they range anywhere from 49 cents to 98 cents. The majority of them were 98 cents. So the next thing that I'm gonna show you is the four um, necklace sets, and they ranged from $1.98 to $2.60. So this first one is um, butterfly and ceramics. Um, it's a little bit twisted in here, but I don't know if you can see this. So it does have a, an adjustable, if you wanted to make it shorter, this part up here does uh, bring it down, but I like them long. So we've got butterfly, we've got some ceramic beads and some danglies. I don't know if it shows up against my hair better, but we've got that. Um, and this was $1.98. Now this was the least expensive of it. I can see why, just because of the materials that were used, that doesn't mean that it's any less beautiful. Uh, I'll put them back afterwards. This next one was $2.15, and ooh, it is pretty, pretty. At least I think so. It is very sparkly. It's got a very um, thin uh, chain. The chain is one of those rolled chains, and I'm not sure if they're called serpentine chains, but look at that. Look at the pretty glitter glitters with all the um, the little uh, beads, etc., uh, etc., et the little glass ones, and so on the back it's just plain, but I just thought that was gorgeous. Look at all that sparkle and glitter. So that one was $2.15 each. I'll go ahead and throw that back in the bag. The next expensive one, did I have more than that? No, was $2.24. And this was a little more um, Wiccan, pagan oriented for me because that's my religion. I'm not a, a standard religion uh, uh, such as Christianity or Baptist or Catholicism or Hindu or <laughs> any of those. So I'm, I'm a pagan slash Wiccan slash atheist. So I kind of make things up as I go along. But it has a crescent moon on it and it has a clear quartz uh, crystal at the bottom and then uh, black beads that have been linked beautifully together. Um, so I thought that one's nice. I do like sometimes the, the long the long necklaces the best um, just because I've got a bigger head or bigger neck. Now the last one I thought was really pretty and it was the most expensive at $2.60. So again we've got a long necklace chain and then we have a rose key. So silver rose key. Um, there are sort of two layers to it. I don't know if you can see that. So, but again, it's kind of simple. It's a little flashy. It's not too plain. It's not too bright. Um, it has a pretty design though. So those are the four necklaces that I bought. Let's see, we're going to go through the rings next, and I bought 13 rings. Um, they ranged anywhere from $0.84 cents to $2.39. And I'm going to just drop them out here. Some of them are going to look very similar, um, but unless you're looking at them um, up close, um, you can't see the, the small nuances and difference. So the first one is, they're all size 8s. This is bright pink, and it's like a cocktail ring etc so i don't know if you can see that if it if it comes through but you can see it's more pink than red we have a another big cocktail dress because i must have been on a kick at one sort point in time and that is a very pretty um i would say it's a little more aqua slash turquoise um, but again it's a big cocktail ring let's see if i can get it off my finger so I did indulge in some of the larger ones, um, just for fun. This is super big, and even though I think it said it was a size 8, this is purple. I don't know if you can see that, but it is purple, and it fits the middle ring. It was bigger than what I wanted. Darn it. 
I uh, really can't see, you can't really tell that it's not black, that it truly is purple. Um, I had all the other colors in, in my cart, and when I got this I realized, wow, that is big. And I don't mind um, index finger rings all that much, um, but I don't want another four or five colors <laughs> of this particular one. So there's that. Um, they do get a little um, smaller. These have some matching earrings, but they did not come as a set, and this is like a maple leaf. Again, you're not picking up the colors here. I don't know why. Maybe it's just the wrong color for the ring light, so I do apologize. But you have your little um, reddish-orange, like a maple leaf. Uh, next item is a rose gold, and it has a very sort of um, peachy orange color to it. Yeah, this ring light is just not showing the colors very well. No, just not showing the colors very well. We have multiple ones that look similar. Um, this one is definitely a red. Yeah, my ring light's just not showing them off really well. Um, this one is emerald green. How far do I have to sit back for it not to do that? Emerald green. We've got another red one. I think there might be two of them that are the same, but we'll just go for that. This is red. Let me show that. This one's purple. Now, all of these next ones are kind of going to look the same, I think. Now, we have one that will actually go with the necklace that has the rose and the key. And I don't know if you can see that, but that is a rose. I'm not happy with this ring light. Uh, the next are all opal-esque, so I'm just going to put them all on my fingers at the same time, and I will assure you that they are all different colors. Um... So, we've got a very pale green, a light blue, and a darker green. And as you can see, they're all sort of opalesque. They have slightly different designs, but it's really hard to tell with this happy little ring light. Now, this one is a pale green. I'm so sorry, this ring light is having fits of his own. I think the last Teemu haul that I did um, that had a lot of jewelry, I think it performed a lot better. It might be that maybe that one was during the day and this one is at night as I film, so there's perhaps not enough light um, to really do the rings justice. But here are those. So I'm gonna try and speed this along a little bit. We're 23 minutes. Um, Earrings are next. I bought 12 sets of earrings. They ranged anywhere from 69 cents to a bunch of them worth $2.98. Um, I don't know if you can see that. They are big pentagrams in plastic and they are hot pink, baby. Hot, hot hot pink. Big old loopy pentagrams. So, we've got those. Just plastic. Nothing special. Just plain old plastic. But, come on. Hot pink pentagrams. That just so screams me. <laughs> so we've got that. I'm not having the best time putting things back in their bags. Um, this one is one of the more expensive ones at $2.98 each. And I bought three pairs of this style in three different colors. So. And they're seed beads. And this is obviously green cast, green going to blue, and then tipped with gold. We've got little gold, oopsie. Little gold triangles at the top, green to blue to gold. Now, 
I also bought their counterparts in blue. I don't know if you can see that, sorry. And in purple. So those were all $2.98 each. We bought some more seed beads because I do love uh, seed beads. And this is, again, uh, a particular style that I, I do like. I wish I knew how to make these, but I don't. And they're more fun color. You've got your pinks, your summer colors. You've got uh, your neon pink. You've got your uh, lemon yellows. You've got a dash of orange, some blue. And the accents are, I would say, gunmetal rather than um, like gold or silver. It's, uh, see, it's not, it were an antiqued gold. I love these. I love these type of earrings. And since I have long hair, you kind of have, have to have something long um, in order to peek through. So I do like that. These are the two earrings that I told you about that were going to match the ring. So we, I did at one point in time have a matching necklace to this. And I think I put it away in friend mail because the necklace just wasn't fit and I couldn't find another chain that was like it. So we do have some happy leaf designs for the fall, and that matched one of the rings that I had. We have small crystals in like an Aurora. Um, let's see. There we are. They are all tied up together. They're not coming apart. <sighs> okay. Well, that's going to take some detangling before I can get that. Yep, see, right now it's just a it's just a hot mess. <laughs> We've got maybe I can get them apart. Okay. Oh, they look like they're broken. Are they broken? They are broken. As you can see. So I'm gonna have to go back to Timu. <laughs> oh, that's what fell out. Uh, one of the crystals fell out. So I'm gonna have to go back to Timu and say, hey, this is broken. Um and that happens. And they're really good about taking care of things like that. So, um, I will continue onwards because this is, no matter what I do, these things are still going to be 30 minutes long. So, the next thing I have, you've already seen. <laughs> Why? Because Teresa bought them a second time. So there are Minnie Mouse Peppermint Swirls. And I already have a set, probably that you saw in the last haul of 2023. I forgot I bought them. I had them in a bag. I didn't unbag them and film or record anything for them very quickly. So I forgot that I got them, got them again. So that will be another one that goes in like friend mail or something. Um, <clears throat> we have some more stars because I do like stars. Um, and these are just uh, a dusty pink uh, wooden star. That's all. That's it. That's just a plain star. I like stars. Again, that's bold enough to peek out from my hair. And these were actually 69 cents. 69 cents. That's all. I have three more to show. Three more earrings, and then we're done. So the next one is, it's supposed to be opalescent, and I must say I am a little disappointed in it because you can't see it, um, but that is such a, a, a almost blank color, like a fog color. Um, so I am a little disappointed um, in that one. doesn't mean that they aren't well made. I'm just disappointed that the color was not as lavender as I thought they would come through. And the last two items are 83 cents. For some reason one was 69 cents and the other one was 83 cents and I think I picked up this particular style almost exactly before in other colors and they're just small enough that uh, they just peek out fine so they're just tiny just teeny tiny little drops they're probably acrylic plastic etc um, there is some metal around here, but this is probably, it's not even glass, it's just acrylic, and I picked up green ones, and then there's another bag that has yellow ones. Um, and those are, I, I try and pick my jewelry, my rings, my necklaces, etc., um, to go with my outfits. Now, I'm not wearing anything today because it's at night, um, 
but that's it. That is my Timu haul. This is the second Timu haul of 2024. This is something that I've paid uh, for with my own money. This is uh, not part of PR. However, I do have an influencer slash affiliate link and code down before. So if you decide to use my link for the very first time downloading uh, the app and using the link, you will get free shipping, you will get X amount of discount, etc. I'm not sure what it is anymore. Um, and I also get um, a certain amount of credit that goes back into an influencer account and when I hit X amount of dollars that means if I wanted to <laughs> I could go in for a PR campaign uh, and put that money back into getting free stuff for me to show off to you. Um, haven't done it for a while. I'm not actively seeking their PR anymore. All of these hauls are being paid for by myself. Why? Because I'm addicted to this shopping pleasure that is Timu. I know some people do not trust them. They do have their guarantees and their terms and conditions on their website. And I feel that on a personal level that my bank account, my cards are safe. They are don't have access to any more information than any of the other online suppliers that we use, whether they're overseas in China, such as Wish.com, Xi'an, Timu, or Amazon. You don't think Amazon doesn't have all of your information as well when you buy stuff just as much as Timu does? And they're the same suppliers. You can find so much stuff on Timu for 20 to 50 percent lower than those same manufacturers and distributors on Amazon. I am a buyer by profession. I'm a consummate consumer by passion and I do price check and I have double checked. Maybe not the stickers or the rings or anything, but things that are a little bit more costly, I definitely check. All of the art supplies that I have purchased, all of my um, uh, colored pencils, colored pencils, holders, minimum of 50% savings over those exact same brands, those exact same packaging, the exact number of pencils, etc. on Amazon. So I respect those of you that do not wish to purchase from Timu from your, for yourselves, um, but I still hope you will enjoy these type of videos. I know this one's running a long time. I'm so sorry. And I have another one in the works. I have at least one more Timu haul that is, uh, I've already prepped. I have another upcoming one that has uh, my winnings from the last probably several months. Um, from the Timu games, mostly the Timu Fishland game and a few from the Farmland games and a few of the other ones of, you know, five free items, but yeah, we'll ship this one in advance since you're so close, but you'll never get the rest of them, that sort of thing. So I have another uh, batch uh, that, uh, that I still have to record. Um, plus I'll be doing some card ripping coming soon, possibly if you're into that. And uh, yeah, if you're into that, stay tuned. So thanks so much, everybody, for visiting with me today. I truly do appreciate each and every one of you. There's at least 60 new people on the bus, so I hope you continue to come back, visit with me, enjoy, give me a thumbs up, click that subscribe button and the notification bell because I am erratic and sporadic with my uploads, and I'm very much an eclectic channel. Thank you so much, everyone. Take care. Bye.